It's live, coach. Same deal, live. Odie crashing on me. Odie crashing on three. One, two, three. Odie crashing. Let's get it. Yo. Catch the bullets in my dump. So I'm gonna make somebody hit. My son, Junior, stand up. Uh, yeah. He does all our social media, so all the stuff you've been seeing, that, that's him. A hundred mil, I need it. The glory, I need it. I took L's, but walked around like I was undefeated. I, like I saw no results, I still woke up and chased it. They told me to find myself, instead I want to find a way. No Everybody got on jury. Even the baby got a little something. We ready now. <laughs> I'm Daniel. Uh, I went to Boulder High, so I'm Boulder, and I'm just so happy to be here today. What'd you, what'd you <laughs> eat? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a kicker, punter, kickoffs, probably need some holding. So you want his job, his job, his job, all the job, right? Yeah. <laughs> no you snap. You don't want to snap. No. So Bernie Rowe, you good? <laughs> what else? What, what, what should we know about you? Um, I love to hike. Big fan of what? Who hikes? Discipline and commitment, discipline and commitment, discipline and commitment. Why is it that when we see a man dressed in his military garb, we give them respect? And that comes along with discipline. Have we ever seen a man dressed in his fatigues or dressed in his military uniform not on point? <laughs> Ask me, talk, talk to me. No. Yes or no? No. Why would you dress in your uniform and not be on point? What's the difference? The difference is the standards. What's the standard here? We're going to be what? Smart? Are we doing it? Because you have, everybody I see is in uniform is ready to play, right? So what's the standard? We say the standard smart, tough, fast, discipline with character. But when we see the military men in uniform, the leaders as well as the men in uniforms, the standard is the standard. So all these gentlemen on this wall, the standard is the standard, isn't it? So why would we allow, would we allow the standard not to be the standard? What is the standard? I plan on winning. And every day to end with a what? What's your standard? Because we got to align standards because leadership uh, echoes the standard to one another. Then we got to embody it. But it's funny how when we see that uniform, we have respect. I'm looking for the same darn respect when they see that uniform. <laughs> now, how are we going to go about that? By being disciplined. If you got contained today, can't have contained. If your rod is at 14, run at the 14. If you have a chip, get out in the flash block, do that. If you have the A gap or B gap, be there. If you have coverage, cover. Do what you need to do. Because the standard is the standard. And we were one of the most undisciplined teams in college football last season. And I'd be darned if we're going to echo that again. One thing that we're going to be, we're going to work hard, we're going to fight hard, and we're going to be disciplined. I promise you that. Uh, we got a couple uh, guys love that uh, the standard was the standard and it still is the standard with them. Well, Mark and uh, Mooch, where you at? Come on, can you give us something one at a time? Give them a little background, a little history on, on who you are? Come on, coach. You gotta get your butt out here. Yeah, we we worked together for how many years? A long time. Hi, everybody. Thanks, Brian. I love what you're doing here, man. I love what you're doing. Um, coach Prime and I worked together at the NFL Network. Met coach Sapp over there for a while, right? Uh, I don't know, 10, 12 years, right? In television. And then we also coached together. How many Under Armour All-American guys are here? Huh? Travis. 
Okay, yeah, we coach, I don't know, eight or nine, ten of those games too. So we go way back. Um, I, I know his kids. I know this guy right here, Shador. <laughs> We used to throw him in the, in the drills at the un, Under Armour game when he was about this big, 10 years old. He used to go in there and throw pat and go and ball handling and the whole thing. He was confident as a little guy like that. Bucky, where are you? Right. Where's Bucky? Had, I know the whole darn family. Bucky right there with the camera on. <laughs> we were playing an Under Armour game and um, our punt team, talk about discipline, our punt team, we were lacking a wing on the punt team for protection. And we didn't want to have a timeout. We want to, didn't want to delay a game. This guy comes off the sidelines and runs out there and lines up and gets it done. He wasn't even on the punt team. You know what that is? That's smart. That's confident. He's with it. He's with it. He's a smart football player. I've never seen that before at any level. Bucky. And Shiloh. Where's Bossy? She will be gone. What? Huh? Okay, <laughs> but anyway, Prime and I, have, uh, we go way back, and I, I love what you're doing here because uh, it's, it's incredible what you're doing here, right? Know this, fellas, know this, and I'm kind of an outsider, I'm an insider because I love you guys and I know some of the staff, but the whole world's watching you guys. This whole country's watching you, I'm just telling you right now. People don't know what's going on there that it's happening so fast. And some people are on your side and saying, this is really exciting. And some people are just kind of, hey, rooting against you because it's like not supposed to happen this fast. So you guys are being watched. So do everything what this man asked you to do because he's asking to do the right things, right? And I, uh, can I have a minute? Yes, sir. This guy taught me a lot of stuff in our friendship. And I'm older than he is, all right? I used to coach against this guy. When I was coaching Favre, I'd say, find 21 and throw it somewhere else, okay? But you know what he taught me? He taught me how to iron. He taught anybody uh, how to iron in here, get your feet shoulder width apart. And you got, he's left-handed right here. And, and he sh because he irons his own clothes. You ought, to get a, you ought to get a demo going in here so we can uh, teach everybody to do that. Because I do the same thing now, all right? He taught me how to dance. Yeah, one time he said, Mochi. All you got to do, man, you're a white guy, all you got to do is put your head over your shoulder, look, look behind you, give me one of those, okay? <laughs> here, 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 you help me oh, out no. here. Don't, let oh, me no. see if I can teach you how to dance. Oh, this is what he said. Oh, oh, oh. Look over your shoulder a little bit. Yeah, yeah see? That I mean, yeah, was good. <laughs> he, he taught me, this guy taught me that to get a point across, you don't have to curse or you don't have to swear. I've never heard him cuss in my whole life. Right. You don't have to be the loudest guy in the room to get your point across. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know many guys like that, you know? And he taught me that God was really important. You know, sometimes I think about this world that's uh, it's like, hey, we're, 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 we're kind of messed up in some ways, right? Maybe there's not enough God in this world right now. So I love what you just did to start this meeting off because you guys are following his lead and that's the kind of guys you are. So I, I compliment you on that for me, all right? So just know that this world's watching you. Hey, you just show them how good you really are. All right? Because for, for one, this guy's a fan of this team. And I love where you're doing. I love how you do it. So just show the world, okay? Yeah. I love it. Appreciate you, Mooch. Appreciate you, man. I love you. I, I do. I love you. We came in together. 1989, he was like the fourth pick. I was like the 263rd. They don't even have that anymore. That didn't even exist. My name is Mark Schlereth, played uh, here in Denver, played 12 years in the National Football League with the University of Idaho. We call that the Harvard of the Northwest, only the smart kids get in there. But let me just tell you guys a couple of things uh, from my perspective. I love team. I love being part of a team. I love the connection of a team. I love the sacrifice of a team. You know, there's always companies that put out mission statements, right? And I always used to have a personal mission statement for myself, but it comes from Philippians. Paul writing to the church at Philippi from prison. Now, if I'm writing from you, or if I'm writing to you from prison, I'm going, come get me out, right? Come help me out. But he's writing a letter of encouragement to the church. And he says in chapter 2, verse 2, make my joy complete by being of the same mind, the same love, united in spirit, do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, 
but with humility of mind, treat others as one is more important than yourself. Whoa. That is my personal mission statement. When I meet people, I want to love on them. I want to connect with them. I want to be a part of that because success leaves fingerprints and every one of you has an opportunity to leave a fingerprint on this community, on this team, on these coaches, and everybody in Boulder and beyond. Man, I got to watch you guys last year. I was sitting in a meeting room every Saturday watching what was going on here, and I'm connected, man. I feel awesome about what you guys are doing and the sacrifices that you are making. Let me tell you something about myself. I was retired from college football as a junior because of my injury history. Anybody who knows me knows that I had 29 surgeries over the course of my career. I had 20 knee surgeries, 15 on my left knee alone. Let me tell you how I got in the National Football League. I came back from an injury and begged the university to let me play my senior year. Switched from the defensive side of the ball to the offensive side of the ball. I didn't have an agent. I didn't get invited to the combine. I didn't have anything. But I made it through my senior year as an offensive lineman. And I had a defensive lineman It was a buddy of mine, my partner, Marvin Washington. Marvin and I were tight. Marvin came, he's a basketball player, they came from UTEP to the University of Idaho because they canceled the basketball program. And he's six foot six, he's 270, chiseled from granite, and we knew on campus, dude, you're better than anybody we got, would you come play football for us? <coughs> Ended up getting 14 sacks his senior year, and being invited to the combine and having all these opportunities. I had nothing. My year was done and I had this dream since I was 12 years old to play in the National Football League. One night my phone rings, it's Marvin Washington. He said, hey, the Bengals are gonna work me out tomorrow morning at the facility, why don't you come crash my workout? So I showed up to Marvin's workout, introduced myself to scouts and begged for an opportunity just to run. And I could run and I could jump and I could bench, and I could do all those things. As a matter of fact, I did everything. Vertical jump was better than Marvin's. My 40 time was better than Marvin's. My bench press time was better than Mar or was more than Marvin's. My eye shuttle test was better than Marvin's. I killed him in his own workout. And yet, you know what? He loved me so much, and he knew about what I wanted, and he knew about my dreams and aspirations that he invited me to about seven more of his workouts. Yes, yes. And seven more times I whipped his butt in every category. He got drafted in the sixth round by the Jets. I probably cost him three or four rounds. But he kept calling and I kept showing up and I got myself to the point where teams actually looked at me and started looking at my film. And then they started calling me and I got drafted in the 10th round to the University of Idaho, or from the University of Idaho to, to the Washington Redskins. Let me tell you something. I would not have played a down in the NFL if it wasn't for my teammate who was willing to sacrifice for me. Mm. I, wouldn't have played, I wouldn't have played a second in the National Football League if Marvin doesn't call me, if he doesn't care enough about me, even above himself. I mean, one workout when I, when I put it to him, that would be enough, right? I quit inviting me to my workouts, or to his workouts. But he kept inviting me, kept inviting me, kept inviting me. So I go on to play for 12 years. After about my eighth year or ninth year, we win the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 32 with the Denver Broncos, beat the Green Bay Packers, 31-24. I'm sitting in the training room where I spent most of my time rehabbing whatever surgery I just had, and Mike Shanahan, our head coach, comes down. And Mike says, hey man, listen, You've been in this league a long time. You know all the different defensive linemen. He goes, I need a rotational guy, a backup guy that can play DN, that can play D-tackle, somebody that can fit, but most importantly, somebody who has the character and integrity to play for the Denver Broncos. And he hands me a list. And on that list, there's a name. And that name is Marvin Washington. I said, sign him. I don't play it down in the National Football League if it's not for Marvin Washington, and he doesn't get to win a Super Bowl because we won one together. I know teammates, we won one together. He doesn't win a Super Bowl if it's not for me. So being part of a team is one of the best things that I've ever been involved in. And it's what I've carried with me from, from football to television to my family to beyond 
It is one of the greatest things and one of the greatest joys, and you guys have the opportunity to change, literally change a community, change the world, and change each other's lives. So invest, I still, to this day, have a reunion every year with all my Idaho teammates. About 15 of us show up every year, we've been doing it for 30 years, because we mean that much to one another. So what a pleasure it is to be here. I'm uh, an open book, if you need to know anything, I'd love to help you out. Offensive lineman, I'm all over it. Sack, I love you too. I, I hated playing against you, but I love you. <laughs> That's it, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Who'd you sit up here and forgot to tell your accolades? What? You're a very <coughs> coach in the NFL a couple times, right? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, 15 years of college, University of California, USC, Louisville, Northern Michigan. Um, in the NFL, I was the head coach of the Niners and Lions, assistant at the Packers, Rams. <laughs> Couldn't keep a job. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now 20 years in television, I'm hanging on. No way, I'm both of we can't answer. Hey, no, no, you catch him. Which one? Two nine. Two nine. Two nine. Yeah, the milkman. They know about two nine. They want to stand in front of that five. Hey, Tay. And that boy two nine say he finna run by five of the ass over the day. About two nine. He said he gonna run twelve over. Who said that? Running back. No, don't say that. I ain't gonna say no name, but shit. Don't say that. When it happens, you know which one. Huh? That merch, I ain't nothing, man. Nothing, you know? <laughs> you feel me? You gonna get a man today, though, man. Yes, sir. Hey, what, Coach say? You feel it, you feel it down, you feel it bad, man. Just hook on up. Hook on top, sir! Just hook on my head, hook on up. Hook on top, sir! That's for real. That's for real. You know what? My boy trying to get that perfect catch. I'm over here messing with him. Who got 21 right now? Get a chance. Who got 21 right now? Uh, I gotta go back and look. I think we got a 20. Yeah, do it here. 22. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I it's what you do on the grass that makes it a, a championship team, right? Can't win a game today. That'll happen in September. But it's what you do now on the grass. Have a great practice. That's why we have pads on today, right? Yes, sir. Have a great practice. Be the best you can be today. We have a little smacking in, right, Brian? Yes, sir. We got a little smacking. Can I break this team down? Yes, huh? Come on, Sam. Help me out. Yes, Let's have a good one. Come on, Mooch. Yes, Come on. Get close. Win. <laughs> Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. <laughs> Let's go. Don't fall my team line. <laughs> Good job, task at hand. That's all I'm asking. Each play, take it one play at a time. Assignment. Alignment, technique, alignment, assignment, technique, alignment, assignment, technique. One play at a time. One play at a time. Everybody got it? It's a purpose move for today. Make a point to make your point. Make a point to make your point. Hey. OD crashing on me. OD crashing on three. One, two, three. OD crashing. Let's get it. Yo. That's the bullet in my dump, so I'm gonna make somebody in. Come on, I'm burn my daylight. Come on, I'm burn my daylight. I just stand. I just stand. Let's go. I just stand. There you go. There you go.
Ineligible downfield 56. Okay. Well, downfield. Good, 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 good. They got the ball ready. How about that? Just because they got the goddamn ball on the field. How about that? Let's go to work. Check real fast, man. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Bad level too high, side. That's how he got you. Gonna flare too. That's how he got you. That's how he got you. You gonna give him your chest, you gonna take it. Every time, just like that. Hey, two four. Cross that line one more time. Cross that line again. Hey, ten, 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 ten in the huddle. Ten in the huddle. Here's what I want. Listen up. Now I want so that means the backs all the way out to the right. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Paul. Point lead, and I'm gonna pin my dog's ears back, and we go home with the W. That's what you get me. That's what you get me. Hey, let me tell you something too. You being greedy right now? No, no, no. Come on, Adam. I ain't no bar. I ain't no bar. Look at me, little chill. Run, go, 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 go. There we go. I'm at the stack. Come out the step. And then this is sort of, we can do another uh, series, but it's not the same as this. But that was the Let's go threes. Zone, so. Let's go threes. Threes! Threes, threes, threes. Rizzo. Three. So what do you think of, like, if you play man, what you think? So I can kind of know. Like, like, if, he, like, if he playing man, it's sort of like, say if he's the beat, if he's sitting inside, like, you can give him some at the top. Hey! Yeah, Tad. Three plays. Three plays. Five yard line. Okay. Three yard line. One yard line. Okay. Three plays. Just Play it out. Yeah. Three plays. No, three plays. Five. Three. Three. Five. Three. Five. Five. You got five. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Hey. 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 We may bring him out of the portal. Yep. He's thinking about it. Next Tuesday. get as close to game day as possible, right? So there was great competition, great situational work, right? Understanding that when we're trying to move the ball and score, when we're in close, what's important, 
uh, taking care of the football, blocking the right guy defensively. You guys did a good job, right? When you guys stop us at times running the football, it becomes a little bit frustrating. I thought you guys did a good job at times of kind of getting into our business a little bit, right? So that was a credit to you guys. You guys did a great job though on offense, I thought, at the end there of when it counted, especially with the ones, getting the ball in the end zone, right? And that's the whole idea of situational play. Knowing what each play is about and knowing what each situation is and try to win each situation, right? And if we keep doing that as a team, we'll be cooking with gas comes uh, this um, this uh, this fall, I guess it would be. All right? All right, that's it. Uh, some good things, some bad things, right? The challenge to the defense, we got to start faster, right? The third down rack was good. There were some good things in the red zone, but we got to start faster. Somebody has got to be the guy that lifts it up, that feels the energy is a little bit lacking and is going to put the team on their back, right? Offense, I thought y'all had a great day, right? Y'all really started fast. Y'all gave it to us early, right? Kind of in the middle, it was average, and then we did some good things in the red zone, right? So somebody's got to step up. Somebody's got to put the team on your back and say, hey, I will carry us and get us going, right? So, hey, we don't get this one back, right? Let's be real hard on ourselves, right? It's downhill from here. We got two more weeks. Two weeks from today, we're playing a spring game, right? So be where your feet are at. Let's get the most out of these next six practices, five in a game, right? And let's keep going this way, right? Good day, good day. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Here we go. On us? On us. All about team, right? All about team. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. That's it.